Yes, uh, I'm Joyce from the Philippines and I came to Korea as a student. So I studied Masters in Business Administration, majoring in Marketing at Sukhumi Women's University. Hello. Usap-usapan ngayon sa social media ang larawan ng Pure Pinay na kasama sa Korean hit series na All of Us Are Dead sa Netflix, na pabilang din ang dalaga sa mga K-series tulad ng True Beauty, A Love So Beautiful, Extraordinary You, Extracurricular, The King, Eternal Monarch, Record of Youth, Labing Walong Again, Waikiki S2 at madami pa. Kinilala na si Pinay actress na Noreen Joyce Tabernal Guerra, na tubong sitio Pamungbongan, Barangay Milibili, Rojas City. Napabilang din ang dalaga sa mga K-series tulad ng True Beauty, A Love So Beautiful, Extraordinary You, Extracurricular, The King, Eternal Monarch, Record of Youth, Labing Walong Again, Waikiki S2 at madami pa. Kaya't dream come true para sa dalaga ang masama sa Korean hit series sa Netflix na All of Us Are Dead, marami rin ang humanga sa kanya sa pag-acting lalo na ang mga kababayan niyang taga-kapiz. Samantala, sa opisyal na datos ng Netflix para sa kabuoang streams ng All of Us Are Dead mula Enero 28 hanggang 30, Tumabo na ito sa halos 125 million streams sa Netflix, dalawang beses sa record ng Squid Game na nasa higit 63 million streams lang tatlong araw matapos maging available sa streaming giant Netflix. Samantala, sa opisyal na datos ng Netflix para sa kabuoang streams ng All of Us Are Dead mula Enero 28 hanggang 30, tumabo na ito sa halos 125 million streams sa Netflix, dalawang beses sa record ng Squid Game na nasa higit 63 million streams lang tatlong araw matapos maging available sa streaming giant Netflix. Yes, uh, I'm Joyce from the Philippines and I came to Korea as a student. So I studied Masters in Business Administration, major in Marketing at Sukhumi Women's University. I'm, I'm working in a financial company. I am part of the FinTech department. I do filming during weekends normally and during holidays. I mostly do background acting. So it's It's like a minimal role in a drama, so I've been in almost 62 Korean dramas, 10 commercials, and several movies. Oh, back in the Philippines, I am actually a fan of K Korean dramas. So when I saw like the drama Dream High, I got inspired and I wanted to go to Korea to experience the culture. Uh, in like in the drama True Beauty, I was part of the high school student and in the drama Extraordinary You I was also a student like most of my my role is a student because 
days <laughs> I look like a high schooler or middle schooler. Oh uh, yeah, in Korean dramas, I actually see the roles as a Korean. When I auditioned for a Filipino role, they said that my appearance doesn't look like the typical Filipino. Uh, saguk, like historical drama. There are times that I cannot understand the words. The most difficult part is pronunciation. <laughs> uh, I can converse in Korean, but I'm not that fluent. If you know how to speak Korean, I think it's an advantage for you to go farther in the industry. For foreigners in Korea, there are actually casting agencies where the production contacts and the, the, the foreigners will send their profile to the agency and the agency will select from those. If I get to realm dramas, True Beauty, because of True Beauty, I get recognized by a lot of people. And Leta Shawai Kiki was the first drama that I had lines. And third is The Smile of Left Your Eyes, because it's my first drama that I did in Korea. And lastly, You Are My Screen, because one of my role models is So Yun Jin, and I get to work with her in the drama. The most exciting thing about doing this job is that I get to see the, the people that I admired the most get closer to the actors that people just see on TV in person. Uh, I would say Hyun Bin. Just, just he came out from heaven <laughs> because the aura is very strong. So I do go on live on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. That's actually my form of communication because I haven't been to the Philippines since the pandemic. 89% uh, are Filipinos. Uh, most of the questions is like, how can I go to Korea even if I'm a high school student in the Philippines? <laughs> the Hallyu wave is very strong in the Philippines. So I think most of them wants to go to Korea to experience the culture and see their opas. <laughs> most of my fans are actually telling me that I'm very lucky to see those opas <laughs> in real life. Um, I actually call my parents every day. They were actually very proud, and if there are like, articles about me, they will share it to their friends. <laughs> oh, I want to go back to the Philippines. If I had, if I have the chance, I want to do work both in Korea and the Philippines. Like even before, my goal is actually to make my parents proud. And yeah, I'm I'm trying hard. I'm trying very hard to do that until now.